In this lesson, we are going to take a look at creating a Facebook note. So what does that actually entail? Well, a Facebook note is pretty much like having a blog within your Facebook business page. It's absolutely fantastic. And what we're actually gonna be looking at is how to create sort of headers and subheaders, how you can actually make um, some quotes and make them stand out as well. Uh, we'll be looking at bullet points that you could use so that you could highlight these as topics for discussion, how you can add images and align them up so they look like a blog post as well with the uh, text that wraps around. Also, how you can add a video, so that's from YouTube. Um, also, you can add uh, animated GIFs and SoundCloud links as well. So if that has gone over your head completely, do not worry, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Um, also, how you could uh, put a, a call to action in there so you could link things back through to your website as well. And also how you can um, even get people to head over to your Facebook business messenger as well. So I'm gonna be covering all of this in this lesson so i'm going to jump out now we're going to head over live into the facebook business page into the demo page and i'll show you exactly how this is done here we are now on my facebook demo page so the first thing that you need to do is where it says write a note this is where you will click to get started however uh, you might not actually see this uh, this option here so if you can't see where it says write a note all you need to do is on the left hand side on desktop you'll see where it says manage tabs click into manage tabs and you'll have the option then to uh, be able to add this in so once you're actually in your um, settings here um, all you need to do is where it says add a tab you click on there and it's going to bring up some options for you so you've got events notes reviews services shop so if I just literally want to add these you just click on whichever ones you want so you know any of these you can just click to add more of the tabs and then click close and then obviously what you'll see there is notes and then you've got the settings and what we're saying is yes it's visible and if you ever wanted to uh, copy this and send it to somebody, then that's uh, the you can copy that to your clipboard and paste it and send it to people. So we'll just click save there. So that's one way that you can do it. If it's still not working, and I can't see why it wouldn't, but just in case it isn't, uh, all you can do is where it says apps there, click into the app section, and then you've got um, this Facebook note here. So you can also add the app, um, and that's another way that you can actually get the Facebook notes. So um, it should work. Uh, using the managed tabs but just in case it doesn't at least you know that that's another way that you can actually get the uh, Facebook notes onto your page as well so here we are back on the Facebook note and all you need to do now is you should see where it says write a note so if you just click into there it's going to bring up the screen where we now start creating our notes so as you can see it looks really clean really fresh and at the top it's asking us to put a title in um, this is where you can actually put an image and I'm actually going to cover that last uh, so we'll go and take a look at how we can do that right at the end uh, but just for now it's asking for a title so uh, this is where your header will go okay so you can either do it in capitals lowercase it's completely up to you let me just give you a look at some of my uh, rivet media ones so these are some of the notes over um on my rivet page so some of them are in capitals but this is just to give you an idea as to how the title looks so this is uh, what we're actually adding in now so these are the ones that are in lowercase uh obviously these are the ones that have had some images put in there uh, so as you can see, uh, this is how it actually looks and this is how the header will look itself. Uh, so that's just to give you an idea of what that is. Uh, and then obviously you've got the date and your profile underneath. So this is where we now get started and we start creating our Facebook note, which um, can be absolutely anything you want this to be it can be product reviews it can be showcasing the products that you have and you want to direct people to various different um, product pages on your website you could be uh, reviewing a podcast you could be doing a book review um, you could be doing a, something to do with motivation it can be absolutely anything that you want this to be and when you actually see how this works I'm sure you are going to have a ton of ideas for this uh, so let's get started with this uh, header so uh, where it says write something now this could be your first sort of header for the blog um, so uh, header for your Facebook note stroke blog let's call it now let's say we want to put that in a nice header as well uh, so this is like the start of the actual um, Facebook note so when you hover over these lines okay what will happen is um, you will bring up this little box so h1 is a large header 
If I hover over there again and go to H2, as you noticed, it's just gone slightly uh, smaller. So uh, let's just put that into a header one just for now and then hit return. And then uh, we can add, oops, a sen oops, sentence in here and then we can hit return. And let's say we want uh, a subheader now uh, to go here. So I'm literally just going to type as I talk because I can't. Uh, it's just really complicated when I start thinking of things uh, that I actually need to put in here. So I'm literally going to say whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to type whatever I say. So let's just look at this now and give this to, uh, a subheader. So H2 um, in there and then hit return. Now let's just say we want to have a paragraph in here, uh, in here and it will wrap around. Okay, so just for the uh, sake of this demonstration, let me just copy that and I'll just paste it and you can see this just wraps itself around, okay? Uh, it's just continuously wrapping down so you can create a nice paragraph there as well. So again, let's just click into here and let's now cover this next one, which is a bullet point. So we could have one, uh, two. So these could be like things that you're highlighting. So it could be that you have um, a bullet point under there and uh, maybe you want to delete that out and maybe add uh, something underneath the bullet point, oops, I have to try and th uh, think as I'm uh, typing quickly here. So you could actually have a bullet point and then put something underneath if you wanted to, um, or you can just continue having, um, you know, topics that you might be discussing or uh, wanting to highlight. So you just do that. So when you actually press the return and you've got the bullet point there, if you hit the back button, it'll just get rid of that bullet point for you. So you don't have to, um, you know, so it just takes it away and it gives you a nice new clean line. So the other thing then, if you hover again and click on the, the one that shows the numbers, again, it's exactly the same. So you can have one, two, three, four, and it'll just uh, number these down the side. So you can either bullet points or you can have the numbers and again, backspace, and it'll get rid of that for you as well. Uh, what I would always recommend you do is just return down a couple of times and then with your mouse, keyboard, whatever you want to do, uh, whether you use the arrows or whatever, you can move up and down and I'll explain why in a second. Uh, because sometimes the Facebook note can be a little bit glitchy with, um, with this one in particular and I'll show you in a second what I mean. But what I've now done is created a number of uh, rows that I can just... Um, Put something where I want it to go. So let's take a look at this one now. This is actually where you could put, um, add a maybe quote in here. So it's something that you want to sort of, um, you know, highlight. You want something, you know, want to go in the middle, and it always puts it in this type of uh, font for you as well. What you could then do is, if you really wanted to make it stand out, we can, uh, with our mouse, you can actually highlight uh, or keyboard, keypad, whatever you're using. If you highlight across there. Uh, and hit the bold, then obviously you could have that in a nice, um, you know, bolder text as well. And then you hit return and we move down again. So we've now covered header one, header two, bullet points and numbers and the quote. So this is the next one. Now let me go to the bottom. I'm going to show you what this does because it's a bit glitchy is this one. So I can't go down any further. I'm as far as I can go down now. And I'm going to actually choose this one. So this is basically where you could just uh, add a highlighted uh, area in here. Um, now let, watch what happens now. When I hit return, uh, it keeps it's keeping me in here. So it's, so it's keeping me actually in here. But what I'm actually wanting to do is sort of scroll down and create a brand new line. Now I'm clicking. Can you hear that with my mouse? I'm trying to go below here and it won't let me do it. Um, so let me just scroll back up again. I'll get rid of this text. Uh, so I can keep that there. Uh, but unfortunately, it won't let me go any further down, which is why I suggest having these, because what I would do is, if I ever wanted to use this highlighted area, let me just uh, delete this whole thing and get rid of it completely. So if I did want to do this, what I would do is make sure that I've always got a line underneath, and then I would go and create it. Um, so add uh, text in here. And then what I would do is, rather than hitting return, just scroll down with my mouse so that I can go on to the next line. So go on to the next line, which seems to be in bold. So if I highlight over there and hit the bold again, it'll take it off bold for me and then hit return. So yeah, I don't know why it does that. I've noticed it a few times. I thought I'd better mention that because um, if you got to the bottom and you decided to use that and you wanted to put something else underneath, it, you probably would be really frustrated. Uh, so as you can see now in these um, sort of horizontal lines, we've covered 
all of those particular features there, uh, which is fantastic. So as you can see, you can make it really look um, you know, as you want it to do. But obviously what I want to try and encourage you to do is add some images and make it look really appealing and really attractive. So what you could do is you could add an image. So now what we're going to do is click on where it shows you the plus. So click on a photo and you can either choose an image that's already been uploaded to your um, photo library or click on upload new photo and it'll take you straight into um, all of your folders on your desktop and you can go and choose whatever it is that you want to add in there. Just for the purpose of this demonstration, I am just going to choose, um, I'll just choose a, um, an image that I've got in here already. So this is an image that's going to pop itself into there. It's just a timeline cover that I was testing out in here. Uh, so what you've got here is uh, the option to have it on the left in the center or have it in the right. So at the moment, it's just it's just put itself in the center. If I wanted to pop that on the right, I just click the right button there. Now what this allows you to do then is, as you can see on the left hand side, so just give it a chance to sort of populate itself. So once it's done that, um, you can um, add another paragraph in here. Okay, so let me just wrap this round and just copy and show you what this looks like. So as we scroll down, it's actually wrapping itself around the text. Um, so as we keep scrolling, it'll just keep, so see how now it's actually moving round. So it keeps that aligned to the right uh, and it allows you to put the text there. What you might want to do is if you get to there, you might just want to maybe create a new paragraph or something there and uh, start your new paragraph. So it just sort of wrap itself around like that. Uh, so as you can see, that looks, it's starting to look more like a blog. So again, if you can imagine this is a header, let's hover over there, header. So let's highlight that. Maybe you want it in bold, maybe you want it in italic. So you can choose italic as well if you wanted to. Um, it's got a little, so if you see a big space, just have a look and see if there's anything next to it. That means you've actually uh, got a line in between it and you can just hit the back button or delete whichever, uh, whatever device you're using uh, for desktop and it'll just close that gap for you. So as we scroll down, let's just uh, grab another image. Um, so I'll just put another header uh, in here and um, header one, let's bold that as well. So bold and then hit return and we'll go grab an image, uh, another image in here. So I'll grab this one. So again, if I now want this on the left, I just simply click on the left and then we've got the uh, cursor uh, ready to put some more text uh, and wrap that around there as well. So the other thing that you could do once you've got your image, see where it says, click to add a caption. So you could just, whatever it, that image is, you can put a caption towards it as well. Um, so me on stage uh, in September 16. Uh, so whatever it is you want to put on there, you can do that as well. So again, you've got an image that's been aligned to the right. You've got one that's aligned to the left. And if you wanted it in the center, then you simply keep it in the center. Now, this is where it gets really good. So let me just put another header in here just so we can see. Uh, let's, oops, take, oops, a look at the embed feature. Okay, um, and hit return. So let's start something new here now. So as you can see here, we've used the photo. This is where it says embed, and this is what I absolutely love about Facebook Notes. Um, it has moved on so much since when I started using this. Uh, well, I would never have used it a couple of years ago because it wasn't worth using. It was absolutely rubbish. Uh, where now, Facebook are really making this look quite funky. And at the moment, you can't actually boost these. Uh, you can't do any paid advertising to a Facebook note. Um, I just think with all these amazing features that they keep adding to a Facebook note that there's got to be an opportunity for us to do that soon um, because I think this is probably the best type of content that you can actually send out to somebody's newsfeed because you can offer so much value in here and you get to keep them inside of your Facebook page which should really be scoring brownie points because you're keeping them inside of Facebook uh, much longer than rather than directing them out of Facebook as well. So again, I don't know, hopefully, who knows, as soon as that actually, that feature is available, you will be the first to find out. So let's just take a look now. So it says, we currently support embedded from Facebook, Giphy, Instagram, SoundCloud, Twitter, Vimeo, Vine, and YouTube. So let's first of all go and grab a YouTube link. So 
I'll just head over to my YouTube page. Uh, this is a video that I did about getting free Facebook likes. So if I click on Command and C, uh, or Control and C, if you're on a desktop, which you will know throughout the whole of this program, we've done lots of this already. Um, and all you would do is press Command and V and pop that in there. Once you click insert, it's going to embed the YouTube video right inside of your Facebook note, which means the person who is watching this, uh, who's reading this Facebook note, what they can actually do is they can watch the video inside of the note and they don't actually have to be taken outside of um, your Facebook note at all, which is great. So they're not actually going to be redirected over to YouTube unless they really want to. So if you watch... I'll just click the play button now. Hopefully it's not gonna uh, buffer for too long. Um, whilst that's buffering away, I'll just show you this other section here. So again, you can click on the add a caption. So you could just put in here, um, watch the video above. I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi uh, whilst I'm recording this video. Uh, that's been extremely slow, but that actually does embed itself. Oh, there we go. As you can see, that came through. So again, it's great because you can test that out as well while you're still uh, in the creation phase. You don't have to publish it to test that out. So uh, so there we go. There you have you, your YouTube uh, video, which is great. And if you ever want to get rid of anything, uh, you've got this little remove uh, sort of um, area there and you just click remove and it just deletes that away for you. So the other thing you can do is let's go and grab something else. So I'm going to embed a GIF. So if you don't know what a GIF is, it's like one of those little animated um, images that you see. So there's a really cool website that I like and it's called Giphy. Uh, Giphy.com. So you can type anything you like into the search bar once you go in um, and it'll pull up random images for you to check out. So I'm just going to grab uh, this one for now. So I'll just click on the monkey. Once you've clicked on there, uh, you'll have these share options down here. I know you've got the advanced and all this kind of stuff, but the one that Facebook uh, Notes likes is this one at the top. So all you do is click on there, again, Command and C, pop over to your page, to your Facebook Note, Command and V, and let's insert that in there. And hopefully, this is not gonna take too long like uh, the YouTube one did, uh, but once that goes in there, you'll, you'll have the Giphy waiting and available for you to use as well. So as you can see here, the GIF has now finally uh, added itself in. So again, uh, it's just a little bit of animation, it's a little bit of fun if you want to just add a little bit of quirkiness to your Facebook note. And again, you could just uh, add a caption here, uh, very busy today, uh, hit return. Uh, so okay, so now we've got the YouTube video, now we've got a, a GIF in there as well. The other thing that we can do is, um, we can embed um, a link from SoundCloud. So if you've never heard of SoundCloud before, um, it's basically just, uh, I'm gonna grab this one in a second, I'll just uh, show you here. Uh, SoundCloud is where lots of different podcasts are uploaded onto there. So again, we're not gonna show you how to use SoundCloud, I just want you to show you how to grab the link. Um, but lots of podcasts that are on iTunes are also over on SoundCloud. So if that's the case, um, all you need to do is find something that's of interest to you, a podcast that you generally listen to, type it into the search bar there, and the likelihood, the likelihood is, if I can say that word, uh, it'll pop up for you. So I love Entrepreneur on Fire, and I actually love this podcast, and I even wrote a blog about this, and I also did a Facebook note. So I'm gonna show you this in a second, but let me just show you first of all uh, what I did to grab the link itself. So as you can see, um, you'll have a share button. Uh, let me just scroll back one, uh, one more step, uh, just so you can actually see uh, what I've clicked on. Um, so if you click onto a podcast that you like, so any of the podcasts, then you'll find a share button. When you click on the share button, it brings this box up for you. So once you click in there um, on the link, just it highlights it for you. Command and C once again, and let's head back over and Command and V, and let's post that in here. Uh, click insert, and this will pop the uh, SoundCloud in for you. Now, what I absolutely love about this is the orange button there. If I click on, it'll start the podcast right within my Facebook note. Um, so let me turn my volume up a second. EO Fire 1100. Wow, that's loud. Um, so basically, the person who watching this can watch it right within here as well. And again, uh, you could put something like click on the orange uh, button to listen now. Okay, so people know that uh, if they click on that orange button that appeared, uh, they can click on there and listen to it in there. So again, it will score more brownie points uh, with Facebook because you're keeping people inside of your 
business page much longer. So rather than redirecting them over to SoundCloud for them to listen to it over there, why not allow them to just um, click on the orange button and listen to it within your Facebook notes? So I think that's absolutely fantastic as well. So the other thing that you could do is, uh, let's just say you want to maybe have a collection of some Facebook posts that you've done and you want to maybe have, uh, have um, you know, embed them in here. So all, again, all you do is click on the embed and let me go and grab a Facebook post and I'll pop that in there for you as well. Okay, so here I am over on my uh, Ribbit page. So let's say for example, I wanted to grab this video. Um, all I would do to get the correct link is click on the date stamp. So rather than, um, you know, just the post or clicking share and all that kind of stuff, you click on where it shows the date stamp. Once you've clicked on there, oh, just click on there to stop that for a second, then uh, you need to click on the date again. So whatever date that shows up, because this is what we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for the um, the video and the number, um, because that's actually going to give it the correct uh, embed code for you to put that in the link. So again, click and highlight that, Control and C, or Command and C, and let's head back over now, and I'll show you how this works. If I paste that into there, click insert, what we're now able to do is embed that video, which is a post, uh, right inside um, of our Facebook note as well. So again, if they want What's to click. For me? What hasn't it done for me? What hasn't it done for me? So there we go. So the title of the video uh, will be at the top. Um, posted by, you've got how many views it's had. They can actually hit the like button as well. Um, they can also um, click the share button. So if they clicked on share, It'll basically take them straight, it'll open up their own personal browser so they can actually say something about this particular post and click on Facebook there. So your call to action, I'll just leave that. You might want to say um, maybe uh, hit uh, the like button to share this video. Uh, so again, telling people what they want to do. So if you had a few of those in there, you could maybe have a little competition as though to say, which one of these is your favorite, please share or whatever it is you want to do. But that basically uh, allows you to do that as well. So as you can see, uh, it's a fantastic way to be able to share lots of different things on your Facebook page. So again, the embed, let me just go back and show you that um, the one that I'd already done. This is the procrastinate on purpose. So again, I've got an image of the book. Uh, giving my um, sort of detailed description of what I got from the actual podcast. And again, if they just click on that button in there. EO fire. Ooh. Uh, and it just means that people can still listen to that and I've got the call to actions and everything. So that's my uh, way of using that as well to uh, review podcasts. So as you can see now, we've, we've covered quite a lot in here and a lot of the features that are actually here. And then what you might want to do is when you end this, you know, maybe give people a call to action. What is it that you want them to do? So it could be uh, to uh, get more, um, to find out more about what we do, please click the link oops, below. So you might want to put this as a nice header so they can see that um, and hit return. And it could be say, um, click, Oops, hold on. Click here to get started. I'm really just being random and making this up. Uh, so we could highlight over there. We could put our um, link. So if we click on the link there, what that actually does now is it allows me to put my uh, website in. So I'll just go and grab my web. Well, I'll just pop it in because I do actually know it. Uh, I'll just type it in rather than go and grabbing the link. Uh, rubikmediasolutions.com uh, hit return and then as you can see that's gone blue so that will allow me or anybody who clicks on there uh, to head straight over to wherever it is that you want them to go to and again you might want to put that in um, like a subheader so it's a little bit uh, more bolded out um, so now we've got the uh, body of the uh, Facebook no or blog, whatever you want to call it, uh, created. The last thing that we need to do is just add an image. Um, so all you do is you would click on there to add the image. But before you do, it does have to be a certain size. Otherwise, it's going to look, um, you're going to you got the potential of spoiling the whole look by adding an image that just does not fit. So as you know, throughout this program, we've been, we've been doing lots of designing in Canva, so you should be getting pretty used to it by now. Um, so let me just head over and I'll show you the dimensions you need to use. So I've just created this one just for the purpose of this uh, demonstration. And the dimensions that I used were 
1200 pixels by 445 so if you remember um let me just um let me just back uh, back up back up here a second um oh just one moment let me click into canva again um, because if you can't remember, it's just use the custom dimensions at the top. So as soon as you click in there and you click one, two, uh, two, zero, one, two, zero, zero, and then you click on four, four, five, click design is going to bring up the template for you. So it's just to remind you that that is the pixels that you need when it comes to uploading this. So let's just click on here and go and grab the image. So I want to go and grab one from my, um, laptop. So all I would do is click on upload new photo. Uh, and from my uh, downloads, I just need to go and find the one that I've um, downloaded. So as you can see now, this will pop itself uh, into here. And once it's actually uh, done this, you can uh, sort of move it up and down. So if you feel like it's not fitting right, but because I've got the perfect dimensions, uh, it fits absolutely perfect in there. So there we are. Voila, we have finished. Uh, we've created this uh, amazing looking post. All that's left to do now is click on publish so once you click on publish uh that'll go straight over to your page and this is how it looks so it'll give you a quick um uh glimpse of how it looks so as you can see it says your note was published successfully uh you can click on close and then all you do is go onto your facebook uh page hit the refresh button on the page and it'll be sitting or it should uh, be sitting in here waiting for you um let me just uh, see if it's buffering again. So as you can see, let's scroll down, there it is. So as you can see, can you see there it says boost unavailable. Um, it just says, unfortunately, the, these can't be boosted out right now, which is just, oh, honestly, it's such a shame um, because I just think these are gonna be incredibly valuable pieces of content. But so what will happen now is, this is in your newsfeed. People can actually see this. Uh, you can share this if you wanted to. You can share it to a page. Um, that you might manage. You can share it to your timeline cover. So again, you can actually share this out uh, as well, but obviously people who come to your page, they will see this as well uh, within the news feed. So if I click on here, um, it's just gonna expand that out and this is what people will see uh, when they also look at this as well. And they're gonna have all of these things. Now it's published, so if you can see, that looks nice and neat. They've got the video there. They can watch uh, the little Giphy is doing its thing. Uh, we've got the podcast with uh, EO. E e uh, we've got the uh, Facebook post, which is what we've covered. So what's happened is uh, it's put all the information at the bottom there for us. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, we have the share button on there. Ah, okay. So when they click on there, it puts itself to the top and then you've got the share buttons there as well. Um, and then we've got our call to actions. We've put the clicks uh, there. I'll click on that in a second. And then this is where people can comment then. So people uh, can add a uh, comment here, hit return. So they'll be able to comment on your post as well. Um, also, they'll be able to share this out uh, with other people. So as they come across this and they think it's valuable content, they can share this out with whoever they want to share it out to as well. And again, let's just click on there. And this should, and what's brilliant is it doesn't actually take them um, off where they were. It opens up a brand new tab um, and it redirects them over to the website um, that they wanted to go to. So as you can see, this is my website. So there we have it. You have now, um, watched a full lesson on how to create a Facebook note. So I hope you make good use of this. And certainly if you've not got used to doing any blogging right now, uh, this could be a great way of doing this. And even if you do have a blog, um, you can actually copy the text that you've got in a blog post and you can very, very easily copy all of that actually into um, into the Facebook uh, note as well. Because on a number of occasions, I've actually got a blog. So if I were to just copy all of this here. Um, so if I copied that, let me just do this really quickly before I head off. And I wanted to create a new Facebook note. Um, I would simply click in note, uh, add a note in here. And where it says write something, if I do command and V, as you can see, that is the blog that was on my website. So if you have got blogs on your website and you want to transfer them over into a Facebook note, so you've got them on both platforms, that is the quickest way that you can actually do that as well. So as you can see, that was super duper quick. And I'm going to leave it there and uh, enjoy creating your Facebook notes.